Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, we're back in the kitchen today and I'm going to be making you a chickpea curry. And um, this recipe is delicious, it's healthy, and it's extremely affordable. Uh, <clears throat> total price for this recipe, I believe, is like under $5 for um, the entire family to eat. So, um, it's very cost effective and um, I think you'll enjoy it. But uh, I, I'm also participating in the hashtag dinner bell series that Miss Sutton's Days has put out on YouTube. And I believe um, the Needy Homesteader is participating in this. Um, if you have not checked out their channels, please do so. They are both amazing creators and they have excellent content that. Um, it's, you can learn so much stuff from them. If um, if you're wanting to know about homesteading or recipes, canning, anything like that, I think if you check out their channel, you'll greatly enjoy it. Um, but please subscribe to my channel, like, comment below. I hope you enjoy this recipe. Okay, guys, we have started cooking. Uh, in this pan, I have. Two tablespoons of extra virgin olive or uh, extra virgin coconut oil, sorry. And I have one medium onion diced up, and I just stuck that in there a few minutes ago. But I'm trying to not make this video so long so that maybe you won't get that bored. <laughs> but I'm just making this onion cook down a little bit, and it's starting to become translucent. So now I'm going to add two tablespoons of minced garlic. You can use fresh garlic if you would like to. I just always keep this on hand because it, it stays it stays in my fridge for a while. And it's handy. To this, I'm going to go ahead and add the seasoning. I have um, one tablespoon of pre-made curry. Now over here I have, this normally would be a garam masala, but you can also use um, Chinese spice spice. It's not exact, but it is similar if you don't have that. Um, I have one teaspoon of chili powder. One teaspoon of turmeric, one teaspoon or two teaspoons of the ginger, and one teaspoon of parsley. Now this over here is sort of like a curry, but I'm just saying if you don't have a curry, you can sort of make your own. But altogether it will be about four teaspoons of curry if you've got that. This is just to kind of let these spices cook a little bit and release their natural oils. It smells really good in here. Once that kind of starts to dry up and cook down some, you can add your two tablespoons of lime juice. I've got that right here. I'm just going to turn this pan off and kind of just let that pull all the spices off of the bottom of the pan. Alright, 
right, now I'm going to set this off of the heat. And then I'm going to take you and... Actually, I'm going to bring the Instapot pot over here and let you see. Make sure that's in the shot. Okay, good. Um, for this recipe, we are going to be using the Instapot today. You can do this over the stove. It's, it's, it's not a major thing. It's whatever is convenient for you. Okay. Now, in our Instapot, we are going to add one can of coconut milk. You can use any coconut milk that you want to. This is a full fat milk. Um, let's see, where's my, aha. Make sure I got all my stuff. Okay. Now we have one can of chickpeas or garbanzo beans. It depends on where you're from, basically what you call them. I'm gonna add that in there and I have two cups of, these are frozen diced potatoes that you can get in the frozen section. There's two cups of those. Okay, we have one can of diced tomatoes. Now to this, I'm gonna go ahead and add our seasoning. Try to get all that seasoning out of there. Okay, when you get everything in your Instapot, just mix it up. And then this is gonna go in the Instapot for 12 minutes. Okay, so the curry, now I'm going to take this and add, you can see it's, it's done. I'm going to add a couple of handfuls of spinach in here. Kind of stir that in. Now I'm gonna put the lid back on here and put it on manual for about three more minutes. And then after that, it will be done. Okay guys, we are finished. Um, I've got two cups, well actually it was two cups of dry rice that I cooked ahead of time. And I'm just gonna put this over the top. You can use, um, you can also use lentils in this if you'd rather have lentils. But that's what it looks like. Now I did add one tablespoon of salt in this and a little bit of pepper before I put it on the rice. I always leave that up to someone else how much they want to put in there, but that's what I used. But I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe and... Um, like I said before, please subscribe to my channel and comment below if you have any questions or um, just leave a couple of words for me. But anyway, I love you all. Bye.